But one thing I noticed throughout the five days is that colleagues on the other side have spent all of their time in debating statement of a president who is now former, rather than debating very address that was delivered. In name of Honorable Cherno Ramadan Majuba, the leader of the main opposition APC party at the Saloon Parliament, and also even take the floor at the well of Parliament, Monday, May 30, 2022, for roundup from the opposition side, the debate for Sika President Bio in state opening speech, where he make na Parliament this BNTM. Mr. Speaker, I will take you to page two of the president's speech. Paragraph seven. The president is very, very smart, very, very brilliant, very, very intelligent. Line three. Page two, paragraph seven. When he was talking about the census, he used the word credible before data. The president is expecting the credible data. Very intelligent, very smart. But I want, to, I want to say, Mr. Speaker, that the way the census started, it ended worse than the way it started. The data is far from credible. Yes, far from credible, Mr. Speaker. The leader of the main opposition APC party talk about the midterm population and housing census. We in result just come out the next day, Tuesday, May 31st, 2022. As Honorable Bar, not been waste time for condemn this census information and save the results. We don't come out now, as he say, not a true result, but the salon population and people not for believe them. Honorable Bar continue for give reason them as to why he say people not for take the census results serious. As he first begin with the procedure, we get for do with the law with statistics alone. You for start the census process where he say get bought even before then take the documents to parliament april 19 and even after that all the process them we then start with like the mapping of the host them and area them for the census where parliament not been grieved for yet and the same information then use for get the census results mr speaker like you all remember from bombali i did that this morning when he was talking about statistics uh, he says statistics has not been doing justice to this government. I share, I share that um, perception, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we all know what transpired on the 19th of April last year at the Bintumani. So I will not go into history. But all I want to tell this House, and by extension the public, is that all what statistics had done before the 19th of April. 21 days after the 19th of April, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, are we together? Absolutely. This is very important, Mr. Speaker. I'm multitasking. Mr. Speaker, all what statistics here alone did by way of the census before the 19th of April last year was never annulled whether it was cartography, whether it was mapping. That was before the 19th of April. And 21 days after the 19th of April, which quote unquote, some are claiming, made the instrument legitimate. They just blended the negative and the positive. And you know what the answer is? Negative plus positive. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. So it is illegal, Mr. Speaker. Simple mathematics. Simple mathematics. One other reason we make the leader of opposition at the Saloon Parliament, Honorable Bar, say people not for believe the census result and that the people we suppose for take part in the census. When a Saloon people, plenty of them, not being grieved for take part in the census. Mr. Speaker, I also tell you with authority that the census, the, mid, the midterm census, was meant for population and housing and it was dubbed the people's census. Mr. Speaker, statistics Sierra Leone and others who are supporting them claimed that as a result of what transpired within that period, people did not participate. So if it's people's census and they refuse to participate, how can it be a census? 
Apart from the people, we know been once for make statistics alone count them for the census. But the leader of opposition talk with authority, say even statistics alone, not been reaching a plenty host them for count people, because plenty host them where you go, you never go see any mark for show say statistics alone been reached there for count people. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I know if I go down now. it is evidently clear. That when you do housing and population census, whichever premise you visit, you must leave a mark. It is it is quite law. You must leave a mark. Go around the city of Freetown. Identify where the marks are. Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I will tell you at least eight out of every ten. In the West area you talk to, they will tell you SO2, nobody not going to miss. Yeah. And, and this is not just for locals, eh? Even MPs on that side, you have to be careful because your people are watching. They are listening. Yes. They know that they were not counted. And even those who were recruited, some of them still have their palm tops with them. So how did they calculate the figures when the bank does are not in charge? <laughs> the yes, the, the, the numerators still have their bank tops. So when, where did you get the data from? Oh, from space. <laughs> For sake of all the reason them yeah. Make the leader of the main opposition at the Salon Parliament, Honorable Cherno Ramadan Majuba, say the census result we just come out na do, no real, and that people not for believe them as one way credible. For Salon Parliament, I on Gla TV online, Mina Abdullah Gla, the report.